So this is the Rubifoil aquaponics system. Uh, aquaponics is basically just taking aquaculture, which is fish farming, and hydroponics, which is growing plants in water, and putting them together. So the waste from the fish gets used as the growing water for the plants, and the plants filter out the water so it can be reused and recirculated back to the fish. So the waste of one system becomes the input for the other. So in this system we've got a thousand liter rearing tank for the fish, where the fish live. And then this pipe, the water enters this pipe near the bottom, so any solids that are in the tank will get sucked up and lifted through this pipe to this barrel, which is the uh, solids filter. So the water from the rearing tank flows up and over this pipe. This bottomless bucket uh, lets the solids settle and start to fall to the bottom of the barrel and it can be collected and composted later. And then on the surface we have the overflow pipe which goes to the grow bed. So this is the hydroponics portion of the system. This is where the plants grow and um, we've got a clay ball medium. So the clay ball is these make a nice place for the plants to be planted. It's, it's a physical structure for the plants. So it's, it's kind of like planting in soil. You just move some aside, put the plant in there, and keep it, keep it going. Um, but the other aspect of the clay balls is that they have lots of little holes in them, a tremendous amount of surface area. And that surface area makes a really nice home for the two types of bacteria that clean and convert the ammonia, that's the fish excrete, and it turns it first into nitrites, and then it turns it into nitrates. So these two bacteria are the biofilter, biofiltration component of the system. And they actually live everywhere in the system, but most of them are going to be in these clay balls medium. Another thing you need to do to treat water is you need to aerate it. You need to get oxygen back into the water. And the way that works in this system is this is a reciprocating or an ebb and flow type of system. And all that means is that as these grow beds fill and they get to the high point, there is a flush mechanism. So the water level comes up, it gets to the top, and then the whole tank flushes down into the sump tank below it. And it does that via the standpipe mechanism. So there's a, there's a standpipe there, and then this is essentially an auto siphon valve. There's this sump header pipe that connects all three sumps as uh, so they all at the same level. We have three pumps in sump number one. The rule of thumb is that you want to turn over the volume of the rearing tank about once an hour. We've got a thousand liter rearing tank, so we want the flow to be about a thousand liters per hour. Each of these pumps is about 500 liters per hour. So we want two running and then we have one as backup in case one of the first two fail. Over on the end we have the controls box which is just where we've got AC coming in, it goes to an AC-DC converter, it goes to a bus bar, it goes to the switches. We also have some spare parts, we've got the O-rings for the sump header in there, and we have the water levels testing kit. The testing kit uh, has tests for ammonia levels, nitrite levels, nitrate levels, and pH levels, um, which are all things that you want to make sure in safe ranges for the fish and for the plants. So that's about how the system works, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.